Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So I got a fun little video for you guys. Um, in case you don't know, Batman officially has a Twitter handle now. Now you have to wonder why DC didn't make a Twitter handle for Batman a little sooner. I mean it is 2019 and Twitter has been around for a while, but there is an official one now. So if you're only interested in Batman and don't really care about the other DC news, you don't have to just follow the official DC handle on Twitter. If you want to, you can follow the Batman handle. Now, the cool thing about this is it I, I started following it, and it's actually got a lot of really interesting, kind of more relevant information than you get from a lot of the fan accounts on Twitter. Because, of course, there's a million uh, Batman fan accounts, but this is the official one, so I'll definitely include a link to it in the description box, or if you're on Twitter, it's just at DC Batman, and you'll see this big banner at the top with uh, Batman. So, uh, it looks like like it's going to be a fun little account. I mean, if you're really interested in up-to-date up Batman information, uh, both in the comics and just in all media. In fact, the pinned tweet here is that they have is about the release of Batman. Well, it's a four-pack, but basically it's a 4K release of the older Batman movies. So Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. So if you want to see those in 4K, you can now. I'm, I'm actually a little curious to see that. I wouldn't mind watching Batman Returns again. Um, but the whole reason this account was created now of all times, like I was wondering why they were waiting so long. Well, the excuse, and really it is a good reason, but why they went ahead and did it now is because it's the 80th anniversary of Batman. So the very first post Batman did is, did someone light the bat signal? Uh, but then the second one is a post about the 80 year anniversary of Batman. So that kind of really made it clear that this was the reason why DC went ahead and did this now. I mean, maybe they'd even been waiting a couple years and were like, we gotta get a Batman. We gotta get Batman on Twitter. <laughs> but what's the reason? Oh, 80th anniversary. So that tweet says, 80 years of mystery, 80 years of action, 80 years of Batman. Hashtag long live the bat, Batman 80. So it is a big year for Batman. I mean, uh, there's no denying that. But they also have tweets from different artists, like they retweeted Jim Lee uh, and some of the writers, the very prominent uh, Batman writer, Tom King, they re retweeted him. So there's all kinds of useful, just really Batman-related information straight from the source. And pretty much as soon as it's posted, it's going to be there. Uh, it looks like they're going to do contests and stuff too. So I don't know. I would definitely keep an eye on it. I know a lot of people are specific Batman fans. You know, they might like DC just because Batman's there, so it's an easy thing to follow on Twitter. And that's about it. Just kind of a quick video. I'm pretty excited about the 80th anniversary of Batman. Um, did you guys check out Detective Comics 1000? And what did you think of it? But that's about all for now. Just that's the official Batman, if you're wondering. So definitely worth following. And that's all for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching and being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.